very good morning to all my dear students uh, this is the experiment uh, to interface a 4x4 matrix keypad and display the value uh, whatever we pressed a value in the keypad uh, to be displayed on the LCD actually this experiment has been uh, done uh, for uh, A division students but since because of the B division students I am explaining it again um, so people who haven't done it from A division also can do it on the software and uh, B division uh, all of you are informed to do it on the Kiel software and see the simulator result okay so this uh, 4x4 matrix keypad is very important uh, program uh, like this keypad you have already studied it in the uh, microprocessor also in the fourth semester um, here we are um, uh, using 4x4 matrix keypad uh, it's called 4x4 matrix because it has four rows and four columns and uh, uh, through these rows and columns we will be sending the data to the uh, keypad and uh, as well as reading the data so what we send it is actually uh, keypad is nothing but an input device so we only read the data but we are sending some data on these column uh, on these um, uh, rows and columns also because uh, it works like a switches now if you see this diagram uh, there are row 1 row 2 row 3 and row 4 and there are four columns from column 1 to column 4 at the intersection of each row and column there is one with switch this switch whenever we press this uh, it is going to connect that particular row and uh, the column so for example if I press the switch yes one uh, uh, the row one and column one are connected similarly if I press s2 row one and column two are connected if I press yes 10 then row three and column two have been uh, will be connected so this is how there will be a connection made between row three and uh, row and columns so in this uh, pr uh, program uh, we will be um, connecting uh, these rows and columns to the port pins okay and then we are reading the uh, values okay so here in this diagram it's slightly different so it is uh, sorry in this diagram uh, we are um, connecting uh, rows that is here these rows r1 r2 r3 to the pin numbers uh, port 1 so we are using port 1 here 9 10 and 14 15 9 10 14 15 of port 1 are connected to the rows and then columns are connected to uh, port 1 itself but it is 0 1 4 8 okay these pins it's not in our hand we cannot change them uh, it is done by the uh, manufacturer itself so these port pins are already hardwired and connected to the rows and the columns of the keypad so we cannot change them so whatever uh, the specification given by the manufacturer we have to use the same thing so that's why uh, we, uh, I have been always telling in the lab uh, that you have to first remember to what port pins uh, the devices are connected so here it is 1.0 1.1 4 and 8 are connected to the columns then 9 10 14 15 are connected to the rows this is the first thing we have to remember now as i said there are switches connected at the intersection of each rows and columns and then uh, we have four resistors that is uh, are 43 44 45 46 and they are through the resistors they are connected to 3.3 volts so columns are connected through uh, these resistors called pull up resistors they are connected to 3.3 volt that is a uh, VCC okay and rows are uh, independent they are not connected to any supply okay so in the program what we do here is uh, to read what key has been pressed in the keyboard uh, we send zero on the columns and read the rows okay now why we send zero is they are connected to pull up resistor uh, okay initially to the high value and then through column one two three four we send the uh, zeros not all only one at a time so if i send uh, c1 that is first column zero then i have to scan all the rows all the rows that is s uh, w6 10 14 and 18 so if i don't get any uh, switch to be pressed here okay when the switch gets pressed what will happen c1 here we have made zero so when uh, there is a connection so there will be a column connects to the first row so what will happen there will be a connection so column is connected to the row hence row also will be zero hence r1 you will read it as zero so if if it is in that case we uh, it is sure that yes w blue six switch six has been pressed okay if i don't if i don't get any zero on the row one okay then we go to the second row wherein we scan switch 10 okay when we scan switch 10 even if we don't get zero we scan switch 14 okay even if we don't get zero here then we scan switch 18 but but 
if at all i don't get any zeros on these rows r1 r2 r3 r4 for this particular column c1 then we have to send the zero on the second column so it's like polling so it continue it's not like an interrupt okay it's not an interrupt it's just called polling method of checking the uh, rows and columns so continuously we'll be check checking the co uh, columns and the rows okay uh, until we get a switch pressed okay so we have uh, if i send zero on column two then i have to scan second uh, second column rows that is 7 11 15 and 19 if i don't get any switch here then i have to again send zero on uh, column three and uh, scan the switches 8 12 16 and 20 then for the fourth column we have to scan the switches 9 13 17 and 21 so this is how we have to scan the uh, rows fine uh, by sending zero on one of the column so to do this this is what is the procedure of scanning the um, keypad so here whatever the key is pressed we have to display it on the lcd there is an lcd given on uh, board on that lcd we have to display what key is pressed now if i press the key 11 uh, sorry if i press the key a okay so this is the uh, 4 by 4 matrix keypad means there will be 16 keys and uh, it is hex keypad hex keypad means you have from 0 0, 1 2 3 till 9 and then you have a b c d e f okay so if i have pressed a then on the lcd it should display that the key pressed is a okay now if i press 5 the key pressed is equal to 5 this is what we have to display it on the uh, lcd now uh, this program if we have to learn lcd also it will be very huge okay all uh, already the keypad program is very big and upon that if you have lcd program also it will be too big so what we uh, usually do is we give you the lcd program okay there will be a pro lcd program already given you have to just interface that lcd program with this keypad program okay it's like linking the way we had linked okay you had linked in um, a microprocessor i Field. so similarly there is one program which is already given you have to just link that program to the uh, <coughs> to this uh, program okay that is keypad program okay let us see now the main program and as i said the procedures are same we are sending uh, zero on the columns and reading the rows so you have to do that fine and number of uh, few things we have to define earlier these are optional actually but uh, you can do it in other way also if you have any other logic but whatever is written here i'll just explain it how it works okay now hash include lpc 17 xs.h it is the header file which we always is included in all the program next we have included another uh, header file which is called lcd.h lcd.h it is a header file of lcd program which is already executed and kept in your pc so we share this okay always we share this so we have to include that header file also where number of apis have been defined okay so we are using those apis in the program so we have to include that header file so now how the uh, matrix keypad looks in your uh, lpc board so this is how it looks so we have four columns and uh, four rows and 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 uh, so this is what the column and row combination looks but not on the board sorry not on the board it is just given in this way in the board it is different Okay, in the board it is different so hash define uh, column one these are column one column two column three are the variables are defined to be uh, the pin numbers okay pin numbers we have already seen it is 0 1 4 8 uh, represents the four columns 9 10 14 15 represents the rows so that's what is uh, defined here so as i said it's optional so hash defined is nothing but it is going to uh, define a variable and assign uh, one value to it a constant to it so column it's like your c programming where column one column three uh, uh, these all are uh, variable names and then uh, you have assigned a value to it you have initialized some value to these variables okay similarly you have row one to row four then there is something called column mask and row mask okay what what is the meaning of these is now we are sending uh, either zero or one okay and uh, we have to make uh, these rows and columns as input and output right as i said column one uh, we are sending zero and rows we are reading so columns will become like an output for us output pins for us for the lpc board and uh, since rows we are reading they will become like input fine so for that reason uh, in the direction like FIO direction and FIO 
FIO set, FIO clear you have, right? So in FIO direction, uh, all the columns we have to make them as um, uh, make them as uh, output lines and uh, all the rows we have to make it like input lines okay so to do that instead of uh, doing it every time what one simple way we are doing here is there is one variable defined as column mask and row mask what are these two variables does is whatever the pin numbers we have specified here of columns and rows those all are made one that's it okay how they are made one is uh, no they are not made one okay in this variable they are made one okay but in uh, in whether we have to go for direction in that case we have to use this column mask whether it is as it is or not of column mask we'll see that later so column mask is equal to one shifted column one time or one shifted column two times or one shifted column three times or one shifted column four times so what is the meaning of this entire statement is between each of these brackets there is a or what is the meaning is one shifted column one time column one is zero so what will happen in this first bracket is one will be moved at the zeroth position or okay or there is or then one is moved at the column two position column two is nothing but one here so zeroth bit will be one first bit will be one then column three means column three is four okay so fourth bit will be uh, one and our eighth bit will be one according to this rest all will be zero that is the meaning of this column mask so zero one four eight will be one rest all will be zero in this column mask variable and what is the row mask row mask is nothing but again one shifted row one time row two time row three time and row four time all are odd so here in this row mask 9 10 14 and 15 will be one okay and rest all will be not 0 it will remain same since we are referring to row 1 right so only these 9 10 14 15 will be 1 okay rest of don't care or anything fine so another four variables we are defining here what are these four variables are nothing but the instructions what we call them uh, call the apis so you remember lpc underscore gpio fio direction lpc underscore gpio fio set lpc underscore gpio fio clear this is the four registers we have already seen right fio direction fio set fio pin and fio clear so we are using those same um, register instead of using this instruction every time they are defined in a variable called key control for the direction key control set key control clear and key control pin so instead of using these instructions every time we can use directly these uh, variables so that is what it is defined so so many things are defined earlier these are optional as i said you can change the program accordingly fine so this column right is just a uh, function okay it's a function called column right so this i will explain it later fine let us go uh, to the main program okay okay so let us go to the main program uh, here it starts so int main int main void unsigned character keys and key and a key and i so here the two variables defined in the main program so that is unsigned character of type unsigned there is only one bit variable key and i unsigned character is key and i so these are two uh, variables defined and then um, unsigned character r val that are, this is an array and which has the value 4321 so this is to select the columns uh, from 4321 we are not se uh, selecting from 1 2 3 4 it is from 4321 i'll tell you how it is done so unsigned character keypad matrix this is another variable another variable of array having these all numbers why they are defined in this way is this is how your keypad looks okay and how it looks is you have uh, as i said uh, first uh, there are four columns and four rows fine and we are reading from column four so column four uh, first value which comes under the column four is a uh, four and then then comes the 8 and then comes the b and then f okay i'll tell you how it comes here okay so here the column uh, the matrix keypad matrix in your board it's in this way so we have 1 2 3 4 okay 5 6 7 8 9 10, uh, sorry 9 0 
ओके ए बी सी डी ई एफ दिस इज हाउ द की पैड लुक्स इन यर एल पी सी वन सेवन सिक्स फोर दिस इज कॉलम फोर दिस इज कॉलम थ्री ओके दिस इज कॉलम टू एंड दिस इज कॉलम वन ओके एंड दिस इज अगेन दिस इज रो वन रो टू रो थ्री एंड रो फोर सो एज आई सेड यू आर स्कैनिंग कॉलम फोर पर फर्स्ट सो वॉट आर द नंबर्स प्रेजेंट इन दिस कॉलम फोर एट बी एफ सो दीज आर द नंबर्स रिप्रेजेंटेड हियर इन द फर्स्ट रो फोर एट बी एफ ओके नेक्स्ट वॉट वी आर स्कैनिंग इज थ्री सेवन ए ई ओके एंड थ्री सेवन ए ई शुड बी द नेक्स्ट रो हियर सो यू कैन सी हियर थ्री सेवन ए ई नेक्स्ट कम्स इज दी टू सिक्स जीरो डी so two six zero zero d is the next one and last comes is one five nine c so we are scanning from column four to column one so that's why we have this representation if at all we scan from column one to column four then the numbers will be arranged from one five nine c two six zero d three seven a e and four eight b f exactly the opposite so it's a way how we scan the column so this is what is put in the under uh, in the matrix of keypad Uh, ma uh, in the array of keypad matrix, it's an array. Okay, so here this defines a sorry, this defines a um, int main void. Then comes is the system init. Find uh, the system init. This is to initialize the clock. Then we are calling one function called init LCD. So there is an LCD program we have to interface with this. So to uh, for that reason we have one instruction called init LCD. We are initializing the LCD. Then we have to initialize the direction. Sorry, here it is. Uh, this init LCD. After init LCD, it is. Uh, it's not one done my mistake here it's a or mm, i'm not getting in my i hope you understood what is that or means okay so it is like a or means what or means it's a line okay so it's on backslash i'm not getting in my mobile here it is okay so it's a column mask fine so what is the meaning of this direction control direction as we have seen it's a fio direction fio direction will set the uh, direction of uh, the uh, port lines so a uh, control direction or is equal to column mask what is a column mask column mask we have to make them as output lines and uh, row mask we have to make it as input lines so as we have already seen if they are output it is one if it is input we have to make them zero so column mask we have already made them one here in the column mask so FIO direction, uh, sorry, the key control direction or is equal to column mask will make the uh, pins zero, one, four, eight as uh, output lines, and then key control direction and is equal to row mask. What is this will do? Row mask we have already seen it is nine, ten, fourteen, fifteen or one. Not of that will be these all pins will be zero. So that is ended with the FIO direction. So nine, ten, fourteen, fifteen will be made uh, zero, and others that column mask. So that is zero one four eight are made one. So what is the meaning? Columns are acting like outputs and rows are acting like inputs. Then we have two instruction called LCD LCD put string sixteen and put string um. 16 there are two instruction lcd put string is a function defined in lcd program that is used to display the uh, display the characters on the lcd so what it displays so there are uh, as we have seen it's a 16 uh, uh, lcd it's 2 by 16 16 by 2 lcd what is that meaning we have a uh, two uh, rows and we can have 16 characters to be stored on that lcd so 0 and 1 represents whether it is first row or second row 0 throw means first row 1 means Second row, so zero comma. Okay, so we are uh, uh, displaying on the first row as press hex keys. So first row will be displayed as press hex keys. Next second row will be displayed with key pressed equal to. So first row will be displayed with uh, press hex keys. Second row will be displayed with key pressed equal to. And then whatever we press the key, it will be displayed after this equal to sign. And we will see at the end how it happens. Okay, while one. Okay, while one uh, key is equal to zero, 
fine uh, it means that we are just scanning all the keys so key is equal to 0 i is equal to 0 i less than 4 i plus plus why we have 4 here because we are scanning 4 columns and this will happen continuously okay so key is equal to 0 i is 0 i less than 4 i plus plus column right column right is nothing but the function what we have written here i'll explain this in some time column right r val i what is that r val i this is the array what we have defined as r val i from 4 to 1 so column right r val i so i is 0 so what value will be sent to the function of column right a value of 4 so r val i is nothing but r val of 0 r val of 0 is nothing but 0 4 here this 0 4 will be sent to the function called column right as a parameter okay then we have number of things here what is it meaning so we are scanning the rows now so we are in the column 4 in that column 4 we have to check all the rows how do you do that key control pin what is a key control pin it's an fio pin right fio pin register which will read the data from the uh, pin okay so read or write it does both so it is reading and we are ending with one shifted row one time so what is that one shifted row one time row one is nothing but nine and one shifted row one time means one bit will be moved at the ninth position so that ninth bit is compared with the so it's ended with the whatever we have read it from the uh, fio pin so fio pin uh, is nothing but you entirely read that port one okay entirely you read that port one and it is ended with value of one mode row one time so ninth bit is uh, ended with a, suppose the ninth bit of this FI, uh, key control pin 